night, honey. Oh! Okay, fine, Tom. I'll make the video. This is Professor Rowan and my life mate Wolfie. We're here celebrating the one year anniversary of Wizards Unite. The Statute of Secrecy Task Force has been working for a full year now. So if you remember back in my video about the dragons that will be showing up for the Day of Dragons, you'll remember that me and Tom decided we needed a top 10 list. Well, she's a very stubborn person and it took us a while to get the top 10 list going, but here we are, a top 10 list of Confoundables and foundables based on your responses. People we asked at events, community days, and our Patreons. What you guys feel are the top 10 foundables. As well as a few thrown in what we feel is kind of our, our most our favorites. favorites. <laughs> Number 10, as voted by you, is the unicorn. See the unicorn that, that they have. I mean, they're beautiful. It's lovely to see them, but. Ugh, they are so hard to defeat. Oh man. They, they waste so much energy. If you remember the very first brilliant event, the oh, Flora and Fauna, is that what it was? The Flora and yeah. Fauna brilliant um, event. The oh. brilliant unicorn was the Mr. Steal Your Energy of yeah. all foundables. Refused to <sighs> go away Wouldn't, and... and there were times I was just like, just please, just, just depart. Just, just depart. Please, please. <laughs> Like, I was so invested at that point, I couldn't hit the runaway button. Yeah. <laughs> but I just wanted it to go away because it wasn't being caught either. <sighs> but yet, it's a unicorn, and unicorns are awesome. So, top 10. Number nine is Luna Lovegood. My favorite foundable is Luna Lovegood because she's my favorite character. They didn't really specify which Luna Lovegood, but there are two now? Is yeah, there, two? there are two there now. Are two now. Um, so my favorite actually happens to be the one of the Quidditch fan, Luna, just because I love the interaction with the, the goblin. Mm -hmm. Is it? Yeah, with the goblin. And I was like her trying to touch him, him trying to touch her, and just like them smacking each other back and forth and just kind of looking at each other like, what are you? I love how she's magically made it so that the, oh, the lion's eyes, eyes yeah. are reacting to her eyes. That's, that's awesome. But I really love the entire idea of a chicken in a bubble. That is fun. <laughs> oh, and when we were at uh, FanFest, let's yeah, when pop we this were picture at up right Fest, now. Yeah. Um, somebody did a great cosplay. An amazing cosplay. Um, so hopefully that will be showing over what we're talking about right yeah. now because she deserves credit. I wish we would have gotten a name. I but, really yeah. would have liked to have gotten her name. But there were so many people, oh, so was, many things. It was so awesome. Yeah. Um, so either way, both of them, amazing. Yeah. I prefer the Quidditch fan. I'm happy that she's not afraid of a fire-breathing chicken. Of course she's not. Yeah. No, she thinks it's cute and wants to yeah. pick it up. And, yeah. and right. I just have a... You have I'm not a big fan of fire-breathing fire chickens. chickens. Ugh, don't get me started. Number eight is the Weasley family clock. And I'm going to let the person who nominated this one tell you why. Yeah, the Weasley, Weasley clock. I think that it's because it's not a main item that everybody's going, oh my gosh, oh my gosh. And so it's fun getting to see something that is lesser loved being such a huge part of the game. I like it because you've got the two goblins and they seem very confused about what a clock even is. So, or like, yeah. I know what a clock is, but what is this? This is not... <laughs> Number seven, uh, the Bogart cabinet itself. Because the Bogart is my favorite thing from the movies and the books. Because I love Bogarts. I think they're cool. cool. Like, who wouldn't want a, like, a, an evil demon thing that they can turn into something fun? I think Bogart itself shows up several times. Mm -hmm. But the Bogart cabinet is the one we're talking about, uh, which is the Pixies. The yeah, goblin. the pixies, the pixies trying to break the into the cabinet. The trying to break into the cabinet. Cabinet keeps just like, no, I refuse. The, I like the ones where it's a confoundable in some situations and it's a foundable yes. in others. There this are is, several things like that. Yeah, like there are that. several. And this one is when it's a foundable as opposed to when it's a confoundable. Mm -hmm. Number six is Snape. Snape. Snape? Yeah. Yeah, Snape in a bottle. Yeah. Yeah. It's where he belongs. It's a potion bottle. <laughs> if I had Snape in a bottle... I'd tell you what I'd have to do. First, I'd cast Bombarda, but the confoundable resisted you. Bum, 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 bum. There never seems to be enough energy to cast the spell once you find him. 
Number five is the adult hippogriff who is in the block of ice. And again, here is some of our community day friends to tell you about why. Because I've always liked, especially when I was watching and reading the third book and movie, mm -hmm. that one was my favorite animal out of all of them. And so being able to see it in the game was really, I was very happy when I first mm -hmm. caught it. And of course, we have our own love for it as well. Mm -hmm. um, particularly, there's, was it two or three foundables? Yeah, oh, there's the hag, the ministry official, and the yeah. adult hippogriff that all, we love them all for the same reason. And that would be the, the thriller, thriller pose. Yes. They are stuck in the thriller pose in the block of ice. I wonder if they were like doing the thriller dance when the block of ice got Which cast on Which is why they're them. all three. Yeah. Like, they're all at a Hollywood and Parkwood. Yeah, like the two are over on in this pose over here, the hippogriff and the ministry official, and then the hags when, when the thriller dance is down over here. So, <laughs> so she was in the second row behind yeah, them and she was, got yeah. hit back? Okay. It, <laughs> so yeah, one of our favorites. <laughs> Which means that if you didn't see that before, you will never unsee it now. So you're welcome. And as a quick aside, now that we are at number five, um, I just wanted to mention what our favorites are. Um, my favorite, it's a, honestly a tie. Um, I really love the flobal worm, which I know a lot of people are like, huh? But I love the sound effect of when the flobal worm bubble pops and it lands on the ground, that wet, floppy sound. It's just, it makes me laugh every single time. My other favorite is the one that I call the BDSM goblin. It's the goblin fighting the beater bat because he stands there spanking himself. And I'm sorry, that's funny. I laugh every single time. I'm trying to rack my brain through all the different ones of what I like and everything, but I think the one I have to stick with, um, and it's not just because I'm Irish, even though I can understand why you think that is the leprechaun. The reason I like the leprechaun is because of the hang time it gets when you defeat it. Um, when you cast your spell, it literally flies up and holds like the hang time of it and then falls. And I don't know why that just, that concept of, <laughs> it just makes me laugh every single time. By the way, if this is making you laugh, please like, subscribe, share. It really does help us out. We're trying to remind people to subscribe because reminding you statistically does show that we get more subscribers. Not only that, um, we have Patreon uh, and this video has probably garnered a lot of outtakes which our Patreons will be the only one to appreciate. So please join up for Patreon. There's a lot of extra bonuses that we offer for the Patreon levels. Uh, at least click the link, see if you're interested in any of those. And uh, yeah. Thank you. Number four. Vampires. I like vampires the best because they're so arrogant. It's great when you knock them down. The reason the vampires, for me at least, is everybody hates the vampires just for the posturing. Um, and like, don't get me wrong, I do as well. When you hit them and they're like waiting to hit you, they do this whole, oh, it reminds me of the movie Dodgeball and Ben, is Ben Stiller's character? I don't remember. You made me bleed my own blood. Nobody makes me bleed my own blood. Nobody. Um, it, it very much feels like he's doing that with the whole. <sighs> How dare you? How dare you make me bleed my own blood? <laughs> Number three is the baby Niffler. Probably the baby Niffler. They're so cute. I mean, they, he's got two that he's fighting against, and the Nifflers in general. But but the baby one because he get, gets tickled and gold falls out is just incredibly adorable which so. one is it that even though they're going through all that he's still grabbing for the coins or anything is the that, adult that is the adult okay yeah the adult niffler is like trying to scoop up everything <laughs> yeah it's like i know it's just let go of me again <laughs> <laughs> number two is actually provided to us by our patreon so we don't have video of them and from here on you might see a pattern so this is directly from Vanilla. Our patron. Hi, Vanilla. Hi. Hi, Vanilla. Yeah. Hi, Vanilla. Favorite confoundable are definitely pixies. Uh, they are so hilarious, and I really like the attention to details, like with the reflection of the true enemy in the faux glass. I also like the pixies, both as a foundable and as a Ken foundable. Um, they're kind of one-shot kills now as a foundable, but it and even in the fortress, there's just something about having to aim on something that's flying and they're so angry when okay. they attack. I just, I you, love you them. You found a way to make me go, no, they need to not be on this list at all. <laughs> um, because as magi zoologists, the higher level um, fortress 
<laughs> like if I'm in dark chambers or forest and it's a pixie and there's not a professor with me, I have wasted an entire spell, like an entire potion trying to hit the dang thing. <laughs> Like, and it's just like, dodge, dodge, dodge. Yeah, it's just, it dodges everything. And when it wastes, like, a super effect, like a potent stimulant potion, like, all five of them just dodges five times in a row. Oh, I... Mm, mm. I don't understand what your problem uh -huh, is. Yeah. I don't one-hit kill for me, even when they're elite. So I don't know what the big deal is. Yeah, mm. that's only because, as a magic zoologist, I give you that elite boost, lady. I know, I love you. Uh -huh. mm. And before we get to number one, here are some honorable mentions. Like a true Watch Mojo video. Brilliant puppy. The golden snitch. My favorite foundable, of course, is Norbert because cute little dragon. How can you not have the cute little dragon as your favorite? Finally, the one that had by far the most people say it is Neville Longbottom. But not Neville Longbottom because they love Neville. Neville Longbottom because of the confoundable you fight. My favorite foundable is definitely the new Neville foundable because it is Snape coming out of one of the cabinets and he does it all dramatic. And once you uh, catch the foundable, um, Snape turns into his boggart form, which is him in a turkey hat, which is lovely. The ridiculous cast where you put the hat on Snape. I like all of the Bogart cabinet confoundables when you defeat them, except for the one where it's a snake and it turns yes. into a clown. That makes no and sense. And the clown is scarier than the snake. Give me the snake every, every day. day. <laughs> every single day. <laughs> uh, my favorite of the, the Bargate cabinets is um, Hermione actually making um, Professor McGonagall, McGonagall dance, dance the Irish jigs. Yeah, although yeah. where that is my favorite, I, I have to agree that Neville Lombard turning Snape into the pretty, pretty princess Snape <laughs> is amazing. Yeah. So there you have it, our witches and wizards our top 10 foundables and confoundables. If you like this video, please, again, like, subscribe, share. It really helps us out. Thank you so much to our patrons. You make things like this possible. And as always, my witches and wizards, remember to keep your eyes peeled, your ears open, and your wands ready.